What's up, Rest Friends? I'm Meridian Fierro here with your top five moments from WWE Monday Night Raw. Number five, the Usos arrive on Monday Night Raw. On SmackDown, Roman Reigns sent the Usos over to Monday Night Raw to go get the championship belts. And the Usos did show up with every intention to leave with all of the gold. Randy Orton and Matt Riddle, RK Bro, had just won their match against Alpha Academy, and that's when the Usos decided to join them in the ring. The Usos challenged RK Bro to a unification match, and this very much so confused Matt Riddle. But all of these gentlemen in the ring clearly wanted the smoke because that's when the Street Profits came out. The Street Profits told RK Bro, hey, 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 we challenged for those belts first. We then saw a match between the Usos and the Street Profits in which the bloodline was successful. And it was the Usos who ended the night holding all of the championships. Is this a close look into what the future is going to look like for the Usos? I guess we're going to have to find out. But I would love to see it. Number four, Veer. Veer surprised everyone by finally arriving the Monday Night Raw after Mania. He then attacked Dominic Mysterio, which led to Dom versus Veer at Monday Night Raw. Dominic used his quickness to his advantage, but it wasn't enough to pick up the win. Veer won by submission in a quick match, but he continued to assault Dominic after, applying his submission twice. Oh my God! Uh, you gotta think, this is not only a message to the Mysterios, this is a message to the entire WWE Universe. Can't yeah, do it again! And they had to take out Dominic on a stretcher. A stretcher. It's okay, Dominic. There's always next time. Number three, Bianca Belair. After beating Queen Zelina, Bianca Belair was ready to know who her opponent was going to be for the Raw Women's Championship. General Manager Sonia Deville then comes out to the ring with a contract and says, you know what, Bianca? I have the perfect opponent for you. But she ambushes Bianca Belair. She signs the contract and says, Your next opponent? Is me. I knew it. Oh, oh, and we will now see the in-ring return of Sonia Deville when she challenges Bianca Belair for that Raw Women's Championship. Number two, Tommaso Ciampa. After having his last match at Stand and Deliver for NXT, Tommaso Ciampa has now made his way onto the main roster. He was being interviewed backstage when Ezekiel, Elias' younger brother. I am Elias' younger brother. Ezekiel comes by to say hi. Thanks, Ezekiel. It's nice to meet you. Kevin Owens then shows up and says, don't believe this guy. This is not Ezekiel. This is Elias. Oh, that's no. See, that's that's that, don't don't get fooled. That's a lie. That's Elias. It's not his. It's not Ezekiel. It's not his. That's Elias. Easy mistake. But, but that that's Ezekiel. Elias is your brother. Why are you doing this? I'm on Kevin's side. That's definitely Elias. But welcome to the main roster, Champa. I know there's a couple goldies on this brand, so go after all of them. Number one, the American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes had his debut match against the must-see superstar of WWE, The Miz. After getting welcomed back last week by the WWE Universe, <laughs> Cody kicked off the show as a guest on Miz TV. The Miz was ready for a fight, but they both decided to save it for later. When it was time for their match, of course, Seth Rollins himself had to have a front row seat. During the match, Cody was confident, as he should be, even doing push-ups in the ring. In the end, the crossroads was no match for The Miz, and after six years of not competing in WWE, Cody Rhodes was on top. Seth Rollins then walks into the ring and says, You know what, Cody? What about Rollins and Cody Part 2? Which, of course, Cody Rhodes said yes. So we will be looking forward to that. All right, Rust friends, thank you so much for watching. That was the top five moments on WWE Monday Night Raw. Brought to you by your Rust friends.